Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritually Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys your next seven to 10 days. We'll be, we will be looking at love, career, and finances or wealth. This will be slightly different because we will only be using Oracle cards today. I have everything pre-pulled, so please make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the readings. Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Paul Ones. This will be for if you chose love. This will be your next seven to 10 days in love. All right, so we have here karmic partner, new direction, and inner child. And again, I will only be looking at these cards, so we will not be pulling any additional advice. So anything that comes through, that would be the message for today, all right? So this will be your next seven to 10 days in love. And I feel that you are walking away from someone who is no longer serving you and walking towards your inner light, your inner calling, your inner truth, your inner child here. This feels very beautiful. It feels that you can finally, it's like almost like, uh, I channeled something, a song for um, the readings I did and the same song is coming through again. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. So you have a fresh, a new perspective and you are letting go of any heaviness that may be surrounding you, that you may be feeling, that others may impart upon you. This feels that you are embarking on a journey of discovery, basically. And it may be weird for you to be leaving this circumstance or to be to feel that you need to leave the circumstance. But knowing that it's going to be for your benefit, I feel that this new direction is like you're walking towards something better. You're walking towards a perfect place, a place filled with more harmony, more bliss. An inner child also speaks to innocence. So gaining more insight into who you are, yourself, your path, your goals, and most importantly of all, your inner innocence and knowing that no one can take that that, that place of purity um, away from you. And so I feel that in love, perhaps the situations that you are in were bogging down on your inner child, were bogging down on your innocence, were bogging down on, on what... On things you that you knew were innate to you or just situ just um not being able to fully express yourself there that's what I'm looking for not being able to fully express yourself not being able to be who you truly are and even for some you are finding out who you truly are um, on this journey um so yeah this feels very beautiful it feels that you are kind of rounding a corner here you are stepping into a new timeline or aligning to a higher timeline aligning to a new timeline and i just really feel the sense of awe and bliss and we have the sun here it's like we have the moon and two suns so like things being unclear uncertain being anxiety ridden being ungrounded um this is a full moon too and the full moons are notorious for like messing with people's energy with like being just hard to handle. And so I feel that this is um, this is what you're leaving behind and you are embracing truth. You are embracing certainty. You are embracing the light that's within you and eventually the light that is within someone else. So this feels very beautiful. I feel that you are transitioning here, Paul Ones. Whoever chose love, this is gonna be like a brand new place for you or just a very eye-opening, enlightening, eye-opening and an enlightening time for you. And I also feel with this inner child card, um, this is also about your soul here, um, about recognizing your soul and drawing back nigh to your soul. So this is very beautiful. I feel, I feel that you are evolving. In, in love and that's very beautiful um and i just saw four 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 by the way also possibly finding new stability new direction it says also um reinvigorating your energy um hum with in however way you want to <laughs> excuse me um so thank you so much for watching pal ones please make sure you like comment subscribe if you like this content thank you so much for watching i want to thank you guys and thank your higher self at this time as well namaste Hello, namaste, and welcome to your readings, Pow Twos. This is before if you chose career, this would be your reading. And automatically, I'm feeling that there needs to be a shift in your perspective when it comes to your career. 
or like you may be this is kind of like I was saying somewhere I don't know I was on live I think so if you by the way if you don't know I go live every um, Tuesday morning now and every Thursday morning as well um, but again I feel that uh, or getting back into the reading and again I feel that these cards are saying that you cannot allow anything to disturb your energy and there's a certain thought or there are certain aspects in your mind that are very negative or very heavy when it comes to your career all right and needing to purge that energy needing to let go of resistance um of worry of being bound basically of being like held down of being of seeing no way out is what this is saying so they're like you are seeing the signs around you. You need to elevate your consciousness. Sip of water here. Elevate your consciousness um, and open your third eye. And that's also connected to your crown chakra. So applying vibrant, flowy thought to the crown chakra. Um, Sahasrara, crown chakra, Sahasrara is thousand petaled lotus. Um, and Agnia is third eye. Agnia is um, clear sight, I believe, or clear knowing, something like that. Um, but yeah, I just feel that there's a, an awakening happening or an awakening that's wanting to happen and you're seeing the signs and you, I feel that you are feeling um, a new residue or a new energy and you're also seeing the signs of this energy, but you aren't necessarily trusting it. So first you're being asked to step into faith when it comes to your career and to elevate yourself again elevate your consciousness doing whatever you need to do to like really kind of just loosening loosening up all the grime and all the like the nasty energy that is around your in your auric field when it comes to your career i mean i just feel that you have spent your life thinking thinking a certain thing believing certain things and now it's time to kind of like shake off that thought to like to to replace it with something that's new more high vibrational, more aligned with spirit is what they're saying. Almost like a, an overhaul when it comes to your career and when it comes to what you think you can do and what you think what you think you can achieve in career. And having no shame around this this um having no shame around your situation and your predicament, you know, embracing the situation that you are in and trying to Aligned to better timelines is what I feel. And I do feel that spirit is, um, or God, intelligent energy, whatever you want to call it, um, is giving you beautiful insights when it comes to your career and when it comes to what you want to do. And now it's just time about, it's like about doing it at this point. It's like, it's about applying what you are learning. And I feel with the signs, it's kind of like we draw up a recall in our signs only to get confirmation it's something i saw or something like that i saw and i feel that that's with you it's kind of like you have this raw untapped power this raw untapped potential that you aren't leaning into but you kind of get glimpses of it and you're being called to go deeper and this bound can mean many things it could be a 3d thing that you're bound to mental blocks you see how like her face is being covered her crown chakra is like her hair but it's just it's a covering over it so we have like clear sight to being covered to being incognito to being unaware so it's like leaning more so into the part of yourself that is aware you know i don't know i feel like this is going to be your career is going to be a mind game for you as what i'm feeling this next, this next seven to ten days it's kind of like you got to do the, the mental work. You have to elevate yourself mentally. And it's fucking hard is what they're saying with this bound card. It's kind of like we need to elevate past limitations. But like we exist in a limitation and we are being asked to elevate past that. And that can be really difficult. You know, that can be hard. So like just keeping that in mind. Um, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching Pow Twos. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, only if you found resonance in this content and I hope to see you guys back here again soon. Namaste. Hello, namaste and welcome to readings pal threes. This would be for if you chose wealth, this would be your reading and wow, this is very, very beautiful, but this does require work is what they're saying. There is something in your heart. I feel grief resides in our hearts. Grief implants itself there and it sits there and it festers 
And so I feel that at this time you are being asked to let go of any grief that you feel around money, around wealth, around your finances. So this is good. And again, this is spiritual work is challenging because you have to release limitation basically we have to release limitation we have to shift focus divine masculine here is all about focus with metamorphosis that's kind of like the divine feminine and the divine masculine working together creating a synergy but it's like you have to this grief is kind of um it is the limitation here you know and so as far as like practical advice it's just, it, like I said to Paul II, this is kind of like a continuation. It's a fucking mind game, you know? Um, you, you, this change is imminent, I feel, but it's kind of like we can hasten it, we can speed it up, we can make it faster. And I feel that that's, what you, that's the energy that you're in currently. You're wanting to, to do things, to do things and to experience things, but there's just so much to, like, not so much to heal, but like, it's kind of like the universe can only respond to what we are and your energy and your energy field just feels heavy basically and so needing to elevate past this heaviness that is ever so present um in your auric field in your in your energy field i was lighting some sage here i mean some palo santo here and i just feel this is clearing the energy and also clearing your mind. This is going to your heart chakra and your crown chakra. You need to release limitations. This is going to be difficult work. I just, I feel like people come into spirituality and they're like, oh, this is so easy. All you do is manifest. All you do is work with crystals. And yes, that is one faucet of it. But at the end of the day, spirituality is um, the power of shaping and molding our minds to where we want it to be and the power of having neuroplasticity and I feel that this grief um could be like distorting energy basically causing neg negative energy so it's kind of like how do you target grief especially without feeling it you know so it's kind of like asking your guides to come in and do the subconscious work for you or just like affirming daily that I am healed, I am healed, I am healed. This money wound is healed because I feel like you were wounded by money or there's a wound around money, there's heaviness around money um, and that's where your attention is going but they're saying there's two options here. You can focus on the grief, you can focus, focus on the negativity or you can focus on the change that is ever happening and ever present in your life. Um, so yeah. Um, is there anything else here? I don't, I don't think so. I think I also, oh, they're also saying that blue could be a very helpful color for you to wear. Surrounding yourself by blue, surrounding yourself, um, by the sky as well. Surrounding yourself by anything that makes you feel vast, that makes you feel clarity is going to be really big and just expecting this string to come in. So your next seven to ten days will be very trying, I feel, but in a very positive way. It's kind of like stress creates integrity, or stress can create integrity. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I want to thank everyone's guides, their higher selves at this time. Very beautiful readings here. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.